they take us on a nostalgic journey, back to the days when steam ruled the rails and the roads. And for hobbyists, firing one up is a great way to let off a little steam. Add a little water. Light some fuel for the boiler. And it's full steam ahead. This mini replica of a 19th century traction engine is really a blast from the past. It starts with the boiler. A hydraulic press punches a piece of brass repeatedly. This action turns the brass into a cylinder. It's a process called drawing, and it also strengthens the metal. From a flat piece of brass to a cylinder in a few minutes. Next, they trim the ends of the cylinder. They brush solder paste onto a brass cap and slot it into a holding device. They brush the paste onto attachments inside the cylindrical boiler. Then they press fit the boiler and cap together. The capped boilers travel through a furnace, which melts the solder paste, fusing the caps to the cylinder. They polish the brass to give it a sheen. Then they solder copper pipes to the boiler. These pipes will expel the steam as it powers this little locomotive. They trim the flywheel, which has been precast. The flywheel will smooth out the engine's firing impulses so that it runs more evenly. They screw the flywheel tightly to the crankshaft. They check the sliding action of the piston and its cylinder. Then they attach the assembly to the engine frame and the crankshaft. Lubricating the piston assembly enhances its sliding action. They test it with compressed air instead of steam. They check how it functions and look for leaks. Once it passes, they install the front steering mechanism, which will control the steam model's front wheels, while the larger wheels at the back will be powered and will push it forward. Steam machines are usually rear wheel driven. A wire called the drive band moves the energy from the flywheel to the rear wheel. They hook up the steam model to the compressed air tank once again for a final test run. And it looks like this model is ready for some action. All it needs is a canopy. They punch a rib design into a little steel roof. And after a nice paint job, they attach it. Now you have a model that's geared to bring back yesteryear. This model will also take you back in time, but in high style. It's a luxury touring car. They install the piston cylinder assembly a little lower on this roadster and fire it up. Each of these mini steam models is a tribute to the original. They all help to relive a time when vehicle ignition meant lighting a match and really burning some fuel.